Congratulations on being about to receive the most accomplished flirt in all England. Excuse me for arriving this way. What a delightful family pose. So your character is hilarious in such a witty <laughs> way. She's my favorite. Um, if she were to be reborn today, what would, what would she be up to? I think she'd be having, I don't think she'd have to be nearly as manipulative. <laughs> I think she'd, you know, she would have a job that would, she'd be great at. She'd be making probably loads of money because she's really intelligent. And um, she may well have a couple of boyfriends <laughs> and nobody would say anything. I mean, that's the thing. I think she's very much a product of her, her time. She's had to really use her intelligence and her wit and her charm to survive in a world that wasn't, you know, didn't offer as many options for women. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. You've had a great background in Jane Austen, you know, projects. You were right. Emma as well. Yeah. Um, what, is there any of her characters that you have in play that you want to play? Oh my God. I never really think, I mean, I'm sure people plan their careers much better than I do. I've never really thought like that. I'd never even heard of this okay. novella, actually. Well, because it was unfinished. Right? Yeah, 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 it was. But, you know, obviously Wit had heard of it, and uh, thank goodness for that. Um, but no, I mean, I, I've always had a really soft spot for Emma. I was so happy mm -hmm. because I liked the fact that Jane Austen said she'd written a really unlikable character, but I still thought she was really likable. So <laughs> I like those kind of women. <laughs> kind of like contradicting other characters yeah, a little bit. Yeah.